What's up, everyone? Welcome down to another episode of The Vault. What's up, Walt? How you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Special episode today. I, I kind of think this one is because you really have more to say on this than I do. And that's kind of why Walter's in here with me a lot because through all of the experiences back in the day, Walter was uh, at a lot of them. And I mean, in stuff that you wouldn't even think he was there, but he was there through them. And what we're going to talk about today is the Fabulous Disaster album cover shoot and how that happened. You see us all sitting in front. Actually, we're sitting in our clubhouse watching television is how that came up to go. And it's basically what the song is about is the two world powers had the buttons in, and I mean, you know, USSR and the United States at this time. This is before the wall and freedom back is all before that. And basically the song is written about the two world powers having the power to push the buttons and kill us all. And what a fabulous disaster that is. So we're on the cover of the album watching the world blow up. And then when you flip the record over, you see our tennis shoes burning because basically that's all that's left of us. But Walter was here. Walter was there that day and helped build that. And we're going to sure. talk about the day that we built the set on that. So a well-known photographer, Gene Ambo, flew in from Chicago. And a friend that I grew up with and an Exodus roadie stage manager, Mike Kanzler. Uh, the three of us got in, a, in my car and we drove around an industrial part of San Francisco and found all these pieces of woods and crates and junk right yes. basically just, just junk finding what we could find and we knew we were going to build something in tony isabel who's the manager of exodus at the time in her garage in the hate ashbury yeah on stanion in san francisco right. so if anybody want to know a, a and, demographic this was done in san francisco so we brought all these pieces and we kind of put it together and then i went home and grabbed all the exodus flyers and posters out of my own bedroom in 1988 because the album came out in 89 january of 89 uh fabulous so i grabbed all these exodus flyers and posters i could and put them up and around and there was ones from the warfield and some older ones zetra i knocked up my girlfriend do you think you could tell my wife yeah i could send her a message via cameo.com Exodus flyers and posters I could and put them up and around and there was ones from the Warfield and some older ones and then, there was one uh, from the bonded by blood record release where control and Megadeth you see their name before some rare stuff in yeah, there some really rare they're stuff. all mine but anyway so that added a little touch to it and then the band arrived and they really completed it because who would have thought these guys but just like Steve loves his toys the band all brought their favorite toys that day. And uh, if you've been on tour with them back then, they used to bring toys on the road and play with them and talk through the toys. We and Gary to would buy be toys like a puppet. On the road. And they would become that puppet. Or I would take my per diem money and go to like Toys R Us and buy action figures. And they would be sitting in the back of the bus or just anything stupid or cool. Yeah. Remember Tom had that little blue thing? He called it Baba Lou. Baba and Lou, they both pulled apart. That was on the... Album cover as well. Very funny. Anyway, to, so they added their touch by putting all these toys around. I know that wasn't Ambo's vision, but it became his vision. And then they had the, we found this TV that was kind of trashed, but uh, he lit it up like a, he's a lighting photographer. Well, it guy, was like right? our clubhouse. I mean, the whole the whole idea is we're like you know in our clubhouse and we're watching TV, you know, and our clubhouse is littered with all of our stuff that we love, you know, obviously like you would. Kind of like the little little rascals back in the day, you know. It's kind of where we took it from. It and was, and uh, we I think it came rascals. out great. I think it, it's, it's one of our best album covers. And, it's got and the I eye think, candy in there, all that shit to look at. And it's on Capitol, and isn't it? Your, no, that's uh, uh, Combat. That was on it, Combat. Combat, mm -hmm. and it, it was definitely one of your uh, bigger albums that sold at the time, right? Uh, I had Bangers Ball had a lot to do with that, but uh, but yeah, definitely a solid record all the way through. But just a fun shoot to uh, a fun this is like a story of how we got that album cover and the day that we shot that and so yeah that was a day to remember for anything sure. else on that wall no that's a about it any comments leave them right here any stories from the fabulous disaster tour because that was such a fabulous disaster tour any le let let me know because we're going to go over this stuff we're going to talk about it from time to time and remember to subscribe to my channel 
And uh, for Mr. Walter Morgan, we'll be seeing you guys real soon.